Well, then I, I learned about loan sharking. Very simple. Who taught you? Uh, guys that were coming into my club. Knock around guys, as we would call them. Not even made members of families. Associates. Top associates. Right? You know, Ange, guy wants to borrow $1,000. You charge him three points a week. Oh, okay. Doesn't sound like a lot, does it? Oh, three points a week is $30. Right? But he never pays off the 1000 that you want them. He just keeps paying you $30. Now, he could knock it down. Right. By saying, here's $500, let's knock down my 1000 right. I only have to pay you $15. Right. And now you take that, and you say, well, if it works on that, how about $10,000? Now, that's $300 a week. You take all that interest, you put it together, and you put it back out on the street again. And it just keeps turning over, turning over, turning over. You make a nice living. Now, you would say to me, or you should say to me, well, what happens to a person that decides to run away and not pay? Well, that was my next question. Well, of course, I can tell it in your face. That's everybody's next question. So, either you're going to go after him, you're going to try to talk to him, or you're only going to lend, like I did, to businessmen that had a cash register. The electrician, the plumber, they couldn't come to me. They went to other guys. I'm not interested. I wanted the delicatessen owner, the nightclub owner. I wanted the guy in a garment center. And the, those people wanted loans. Absolutely. Can't go to banks. Absolutely. There's no way they can go to banks. Many reasons. Credit lines are all used up. Their personal credit isn't efficient for them to borrow money. Go to the streets. So in my case, I'd only go to people that were businessmen. Did... Were those business people in your mind desperate, desperate enough to ask you for a loan? Because you said they, they were they were up and up places that they couldn't go get a loan. If you're gonna go get a, a loan from the streets, the streets own you. Hundred percent. And that's how I got into my first business in the garment center. Guy just couldn't pay anymore. And I says, Well, no problem at all. I'm your partner. We're gonna turn this around. And that's how simple it is. And you're absolutely right. And you were good with that. Matter of fact, it sounds like you would rather have that. I'd rather have the business. Right. Let me go ahead and do what I do best. Let me build the business. Let me turn around and use my business skills that I went to school for. I read and learned. Let me use them here, see if I can improve what you couldn't do. And that's just one big vicious cycle. 